Hey folks, I'm Riley Farbaugh. I'm Nate. Welcome to another episode of WebSins. Uh, this is a video podcast where we look at different websites and try to give them pointers on how to improve their SEO, UX, UI, uh, and just general um, digital prowess. Definitely. Um, so today we are looking at LL Bean. Um, you guys know this brand, uh, you know, outdoor clothing brand. Um, before we do look at them though, I did just want to uh, do a quick little look backwards. Uh, if you haven't seen the first episode of WebSense, this is episode two, go back, watch episode one. Uh, we looked at Room and Board and they have actually taken us up on a lot of the suggestions that we made in that WebSense video, specifically on their homepage. So I'll just scroll down it right now on this other screen so you guys can see the adjustments. They changed this, there's more color. And here we have product pages. So products on the home page. Uh, and I don't remember what the other suggestions were, but it's great to see a lot of products on the home page. And uh, yeah, they've so some, uh, you're in good company. Uh, not only are you watching this show, but so are the executives at Room and Board. Apparently, yeah. Facts. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get into it. We're looking at LL Bean here. Um, Nate and I both have issues with this first impression. Uh, we, I don't, I don't enjoy the header much. Um, Nate, what's your take on it? I find it to be extremely confusing. Once I go into the site, I just see text and just so much text, and just it's just. There's no clear direction to where to go on the site. It's just sort of like, you just sort of have to take an overview of the site and then just sort of like try and read your way through it. Um, it should be more direct towards the products or some images or something. Um, I mean, the header looks like to be like 800, 600 pixels, something like that, which is quite big for a header. Headers are typically around like 100 to 200 pixels. So having it, that long is just pushing everything so far down. Even the hero image is far down, um, which shows showcases their products. And you're not there to buy text; you're there to buy their products. So they should push those up. And like they do have the the two hundred, the twenty five dollar or twenty five percent off order, um, but they should just put that within, like on top of their image, rather than just push their image down a bit more with it. So this is definitely some needed. Uh, uh, improvements for their header. That's a great point. I totally agree. Um, typically in e-com you see this header used to sort of uh, evoke emotion by showing you what their products look like in action and and how it would fit into your lifestyle so you can really picture yourself using it. Mm -hmm. um, you know when you push that below the fold uh, and someone lands on that page, it changes their reaction immediately. If you guys haven't read Blink by Malcolm Gladwell, it talks about how quickly we make decisions. When you land on this site, it doesn't give you any sort of emotional reaction. It's fully logical, right? You're seeing free shipping, 25% off your order. I'm, I'm seeing that very clearly because it's in gigantic text in two different places on the page, here and here. Um, I also think it's weird. It's almost like they have three ribbons above their mm -hmm. header, which is part of the reason that their header seems so big, right? They have their their link ribbon with no background, and then they have their promotional ribbon, and then they have their free shipping ribbon. It's almost like three different ribbons above their header pushes everything down the page. And even the uh, the card to save an additional fifteen percent with the uh, LOB Mastercard is just a massive. Uh, row, it's uh, it could definitely be used differently. Um, it could either be it could even be a pop up, just like an email pop up, um, just to get rid of it would be great. I mean, I get why they're trying to push it, but there's definitely a better way to push it. Um, yeah, I, and like I have to believe they're making a bunch of money on that card. No, they definitely so like are, I yeah. get why it's there, but you're right. I totally agree. Like, why not put it above the footer? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, if someone's if someone's at, and they have it above the footer also. So like, it just seems like overkill, their sale messaging or their promotion messaging is over the top, right? 25% off your order at the top, 25% off your order in gigantic text. This text is bigger than their logo text. 
it's, yeah, it's pretty. That crazy. seems crazy to me. The other thing is like, you know, we talked about the the purpose behind a hero image and and how effective that can be, and it's interesting here to see, you know, that this hero image is one mm -hmm. image, right? Incredibly warm, reliable. The, the CTA is in an image, so anywhere, it, any click on this is the same. But then this is also an image. Hmm. Like, I'm confused why these are two different images. I, I, I have a lot of issues with the, the first, you know, thousand pixels of height here, or maybe 800 pixels. Um, all right, but let's, let's move beyond that. Mm -hmm. I think we both have a lot to say about that. Um, and also, we're trying to be more positive in this episode and offer tips rather than just purely roasting people. Uh, so, tip, decrease the size of your header. Like, you want to show your homepage hero image to the person as soon mm -hmm. as they land. Like, this should be, the this right here, the size of this banner, should be the size of your header maximum, exactly. I would say. Like, this needs to be above the fold. Yeah, I definitely recommend trying to declutter your header. Um, if you just have a lot of stuff in there, the user's not gonna really know where to go. So if you make it really clear and just make it have a lot of white space, um, it's just gonna be way easier. Even the navigation's kind of confusing looking. Um, it doesn't even look like a nav. Right, um, it's just text. There's nothing to indicate. Like. I, honestly, I would put this this dark gray background that's on hover. I would use that across the whole yeah, the whole map. Yeah, make it define out more. It's yeah. just it's just a lot of clutter, and there's no defining um, sections that really draw your eye. So your eye just sort of glazes over the whole header, and you sort of just go down to the twenty five percent off, which might be their whole intent is make their site make everything just look like very glazed over like just make it easy to glaze over and just bring your eye right to the big text but um i mean i hate that yeah. i have like i i'm banner blind so like this text makes me so mad mm -hmm. like i first i'm not really interested in it because i want to see your products before i want to see the prices even like i don't care what the price is unless i want to buy it and i don't want to buy this because you're pissing me off with your messaging yeah and put your uh your big hero message inside it or on top of your image um, just because then you can stack them um, it definitely saves room I wonder how much uh, I wonder how big this this business is I think it's fairly big um, and then also just um, yeah I mean they have an Ello Bean boot truck Pretty yeah that's kind of cool Ello Bean revenue Unclear. Must be. It's probably a private business. But anyway, it's a big company. This is a this is a nationwide brand. I would venture to say they're probably fifty to hundred million, maybe more. Easily, yeah. Uh, it seems like they could invest a hundred thousand into a website, Definitely. you know, or like a, a or you know conversion rate testing, like because mm. I guarantee you that this header. And this giant twenty five percent off is not helping with conversions. And one and that twenty five percent off is an image, so it's not even ranking. Yeah, it's not. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing it would rank for unless they put um, some text behind it. But like, I doubt they really did that. Yeah. Um, All right, let's move beyond that. Uh, we're we're both upset about the header and the the top of their homepage. Let's see. It seems to be responsive, right? Seems to seems to work okay. Yeah, it looks fine on mobile. Yeah, looks good on mobile. All right, what about coming down the page? Are these images? Yes, these are just images. It seems lazy to me. Like this text is not indexable, mm -hmm. right? That's a, that's a concern. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I don't I don't see why you wouldn't just just hard code this stuff in. Yeah, definitely just try and make your text indexable. Yeah, I mean, yep. It just it's all of H one H twos. All of these divs are images. None They're of this images, text yeah. handmade in the USA. That's great text yeah. index and you're not indexing it so that's frustrating do they have any it's products? also weird that they have several different call to action styles see how their their shop now is underlined 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 and then mm -hmm. button button mm -hmm. so what's the difference i guess like does that make sense um but we're continuing down even this, this should be this should be an H two like that's a, that's indexable content that's just you're missing out. 
And this, this makes me think that you're pulling in Instagram posts dynamically, they're but they're not. They just did that in Photoshop and put it there. It's just, this, like the it's site, just sloppy. The site's very. Um, Here's products at least. They have okay, products, so the products on their are homepage, way on but the no prices. Like so, they don't look like products. So guys, if you're gonna have products around your website, you know product cards. They should have prices on them because the user is just gonna be like, oh, it's an image. But like, if you actually have a number on it, people are gonna be more likely to be like, oh, that's a product. And the product should be pushed up higher as. I agree. I agree. I mean, at least somewhere. And put your best selling products immediately, like right below your homepage hero, would be my recommendation. And, and you could test that different mm -hmm. different spots, but definitely products on your homepage. And when scrolling through it, it's just once again your eyes just glaze because there's nothing. It's just all white, and there's no like really, there's not let me really separating like the um, the different rows. And like there was like the ski team thing, and then there was like uh, above it, it was like a product, and like there's nothing really like defining. You sort of just glaze over the whole site because it's just all white with images. Yep. Um, so there's not really much structure, um, which kind of. Here's their card again. So another theme that we're seeing multiple times is their image or their their messaging is repetitive right mm -hmm. we see this a second time here same thing with the 25 percent off it's it's a ribbon in your header and then it's also a, a, a banner on your home page so you know part of the stacking here there's three ribbons in the header and then there's two banners below the nav like it definitely it's frustrating yeah. for a user like you you guys can see our frustration your users are just as frustrated if not more I mean yeah. we've worked with um, many websites so we're probably more like people more in technology are probably more well versed when it comes to navigating sites so if you I'm, I'm assuming that the customer base is probably they probably have older customers as well so a lot of older customers don't know how to navigate sites as well so making it as easy for the user as you can and as direct it just can increase sales and just it's overall better for the site and this site does not show that agree i would also try to move this lead capture here the email updates and give it a more prominent positioning mm -hmm. on the website um some companies will put their lead gen directly below their hero right so it might be Right, get rid of both of these banners, mm -hmm. <laughs> or at least one of them. Then you have your hero, and then maybe you have a, a you know, I don't know, twenty to fifty pixel div where you know you you ask users for their email, and then you have products. Like that's a pretty good formula for an e-commerce business. Yeah, and then you know, unique selling points and and brand messaging as you move down the page. Yeah, but so if you, you want up. products visible. If they just get rid of the big 25% off and the card thing, mm -hmm. they're saving 300 pixels, 400 right. pixels, and that image just moves up. Like you can see basically the full image from now. How many pixels do you think this ribbon is? Yeah, 75. 75. Okay, so you maybe 75 to 100 for your for your lead gen capture below the hero. Yeah, but if they just remove that 25, the big 25% off. Yeah, yeah. And get then the that. card Toss that's that. that's Toss that. 250, 300 pixels, and that yeah. moves the. Uh, the hero image up perfectly and that's where it should be yep. so it's mainly just those two things and they just and they can keep that 25 percent off if they really want to they just put it inside that image um and then they just save that space and your products are actually on full display and you have like a good feeling when you get into the site and the site you don't really have a good feeling right i feel terrible i i'm never buying from llb again <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. Yeah. They sell good products. They do sell good products. And that They're saving warranty. grace is that they have good products. Yeah. Um, anything else we should look at here? We, we haven't even dug product. into like product yeah, pages. Yeah, let's, let's try to find a product page. Right, Maybe let's shop go to a product or something. Page. Let's do these flannel sleep, sleep pants. Um, great flannel for L.L. Bean. Very competitive in that space. Um, L.L. Bean flannel sleep pants with camo print um it, it's not a it's not a bad uh no the product, product page itself yeah, is solid awful. right um yeah i mean they have just one button that has color add to bag um 
I just want to know how to zoom out here. Oh. I'm wondering how a category page looks. Um, yeah. Maybe something like men's sleepwear. sleepwear. Yeah. So filtered navigation, that's great to see. And it does look like it will change the URL based on the filter. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's check that. Let's see. So we see, and this is interesting. This is probably the category ID mm -hmm. in their database, and then they append this uh, like keywords to it to make it more SEO friendly. So that's definitely good. They definitely know how to um, do like their yeah. tags and stuff. And their yeah, they're not they're not totally naive to to SEO. I think it's mainly their design that could definitely be benefit their company um, rather yeah. than their SEO. Yeah. Although, uh, like the content on the homepage, to see that that was in an image rather mm -hmm. than yeah, that's you know indexable yeah. content. That's a big that was impact. a big yeah, that was a big one. And I mean, UI UX is probably one of the biggest. There's things. also no content on these category pages, which is kind of surprising. But maybe we're too far down. Like if I go men's clothing, yeah, no no content at all. Oh wait, there's some. Is this indexable content? Look like an image again. I think it is an image. No, um, I think it's just non-selectable um, text. Could be. I can't tell immediately. Yeah, I mm. think it's just non-selectable. Um, it's definitely not image. No, but look, because yeah, that that's that's alt text on an image. Oh, so I guess it is. And yeah, yeah it's it's clickable. I guess it is an image. That's an image. Interesting choice again. I mean, so they have no H1 tag here then. That's like that's significant. They have no H1 tag unless it's this. That could be the H1. Very well could be. Men's. That is the H1. So, I might recommend a slightly more descriptive H1 tag, men's clothing, something like that. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I like if we do shirts, is it men's shirts, I would hope? Yeah. Men's shirts. Good. Great. Um, so, you know, it's it's not We've seen worse. We've seen worse. Most definitely. How is their sales page? Sale page. So they have several different sales that they advertise. They also have a pop-up, which I don't super love, but I get that business is business and the goal of the website is to make money and mm -hmm. pop-ups help make money. So yeah. uh, money over UX, I'll take that trade any day. <laughs> um, but so sale, I like that they have multiple sales that they're advertising here and it's, you know, it's neat and clean. Mm -hmm. uh, here, this seems like it's, hmm, interesting. It's men's. clicking on each. So this so, is So if you click on women's, would that go to women's or would yeah, that go to men's? Yeah, it does. Look, the, the link down here is women's on sale. Interesting. Men's on sale, but it seems like an image. So I'm not actually sure how they're doing that. Uh, I guess they could be... They could have designed the image, and then they could be they could be putting like invisible boxes on top of them. Could be, yeah. In, invisible CTAs. That's um, interesting. Or yeah, I don't know. Let's inspect it. I'm curious. How do I? I want to see more code. There we go. Okay, so here's the link. The alt is home. The title is also home, which does not seem appropriate for... Oh, well, I guess it's the home sale. All right, that's fine. Okay, so it's an area tag, which I've never seen before. Interesting, yeah. Um, but that's interesting. Area tag, and then they have a class area class but there's no class specified it says so class it, shape i think it is an image they just put an area on top of it right. which allows them to basically yeah like create a box yep yep that's kind of interesting um again images here rather than text that just seems like it should be indexable content yeah i i feel like they're missing out pretty significantly on their seo by using images here mm -hmm. um, but i'm curious you know what? What's their SEO been like over the past? You know, like if that out. I got it. All right. All right. So if we look up LL Bean uh, and how they've been trending over time, first of all, there's no homepage title tag. Is that? Could that be true? I. No, there's a homepage title tag. All right. 
Um, okay, so pretty flat in terms of traffic. It seems like recently they got hit with that August 1 update. We've had other clients hit with that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, they're struggling to get back from that, which is interesting. Uh, Most people are. We can come back to that. Yeah. Um, the August 1 update, that's probably another video in itself, honestly. Um, anything else that we should touch on here? How's their shopping cart? Shopping guy's empty. If I just throw some something in here... Get a this, is, this has been a long web since. How 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 far? We're twenty minutes in. All right, we're gonna we're gonna finish it up right here. That's an expensive boot. It is a, a two hundred and ten dollar boot. Uh, you know, I, I like that their their product title is long and descriptive. Uh, different shoe sizes, one color, add to bag. Let's see what happens. More information. I want a size fourteen because I'm. A gigantic person <laughs> okay this is an interesting one so if I hit checkout what should happen for best-in-class e-commerce sites is that this should take me to my shopping cart and then I should have to click again for checkout mm-hmm. but let's see what happens check out so there it is they're 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 doing the right thing there by taking you to the cart honestly they should be advertising that card here the card, like you know, like their card, like their fifteen percent off. Yeah, uh, that's a that's card. an excellent point, Nate. Yeah, get that off the home page and put it in your cart. That's a great point. Uh, I mean, and maybe, same with the twenty five yeah. percent off. Like on their home page, they're like, boom, twenty five percent off. Boom, get this card. But on their cart page, when a user is about to check out, they're not going to do that. Yeah, and if they maybe, do have it, it's very small. So maybe it's because they know that users aren't appreciating that messaging. <laughs> maybe, but definitely with the card, they can move it, like have like an advertiser for the card in the yeah. shopping bag. That's a that's a great I mean, point. The people that are going to be using that card will be the people that are buying the product. So obviously, you want to keep them together, and then somebody might be like, "Oh, saves me fifteen percent." Why not? I'll sign up. Yep, totally agree. I mean, that's, that's what they do point. at. That's actually what they do at physical locations. Um, most uh, stores, they when you're checking out, they're like, "Oh, do you want to sign up for a card? It saves you twenty dollars on this order," and it sort of like forces you into a place like, "Oh, I could save twenty dollars right now. It's only going to take two minutes." Right. Uh, since you already have your money on the line, um, it's sort of like you're probably more likely going to do it. Like it's a common practice by most retail stores um, that I've been to. So. I'm That's not. a great point, and I really like the analogy too mm-hmm. of like walking into a traditional retail store. They don't ask you to sign up for their credit card when you walk in, mm-hmm. yeah, because they haven't closed the sale yet, and they're just gonna annoy you if they do that. It's not any different on your website. Exactly. All right. Um, anything else you want to note on this before we uh, wrap it up here, Nate? Um, not really. I think just. Ella Bean just needs to focus more on structure and definitely not using those images and area tags as much. Um, yeah, that was, and that's weird. I mean, overall, like, if they just do a few things, the site could easily be 100 times better um, and definitely increase conversion rates. Um, but they just need to invest just a little bit into it and just, yeah, I mean, it's pretty it, it's not like complex stuff like it's there it just needs to be improved and just they just need to be like thinking about the logistics of user interface and what the user wants and how to make it more driven towards the product and it's not driven to the product right now it's more driven towards like like their sale which i guess could drive traffic but it doesn't always do that so anything for you um, no, I think that was uh, right on. I think we pointed out a lot of stuff. Um, probably one of the biggest was the header. Mm-hmm. Um, also, their messaging around their card and not having that in checkout. Uh, we also noticed that a lot of their um, a lot of their messaging was in images rather than indexable content. Mm-hmm. Or images are indexable content, but not in the same way that you know, text is going to be. Definitely. Um, so, a lot to improve on. Uh, 
L.L. Bean, if you're watching, uh, you know, we're happy to help you guys with this stuff. Uh, otherwise, if you guys see parallels to your own business on the on the L.L. Bean website and you want to talk to someone about it, um, you know, get in touch. We're, we're happy to set aside some time for you. Definitely. All right. Catch us on the next episode.